never did surgery. Yeah, Neville survived the the surgery. Yes. But what about your niece again? I, I, so I, I have I have I have two young cousins that didn't survive. Oh I have I survived I, cancer. That, that, that I have my 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 nephew survived the cancer. Okay. I have, I have two nieces and a, and a, I'm sorry, two cousins that passed. Oh yeah. I have yeah. an uncle that passed. Yes, I have I have an uncle that passed from it. I have two cousins that passed. Two cousins that passed. Two uncles that passed, and I also have one uncle that doing treatment for it right now as we speak. That's that's mm. that's. Uh, all right. Would you mind telling us the type of cancers? Because you know we yeah. ought to be aware of all but cancer. My, yeah, go right my, ahead. For my nephew, it was stage um, stage three stomach cancer, mm. and God, what I mean, he was so blessed that the doctor caught it just before it spread all over his body. Okay. And so the tumor was so was such a huge tumor that the doctor after first shrink it with chemotherapy. Oh. And then after it was shrink, um, then they were able to go in and do a twelve hour surgery and remove it. Hmm. And of course he loses his stomach but then but he's alive. Yeah. Amen. He's alive. And that's what's come. I have had another um, a cousin just a few years apart, and she had um, the, 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 the same type of cancer. However, um, she was trying to do the bush remedy, and at the time she you know, she's tried to, to do the other surgery um, on the chemotherapy, it was too late, and she was. She, Rapidly, she passed. Mm. I, I I have an uncle that passed from um, from 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 not he was it was a co um, colon cancer. Colon cancer. So so two were colon cancer. One is stomach cancer, and another one is prostate cancer. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, it's always good to know. Uh, the, these type of cancer and to be aware of them mm -hmm. and the type of treatment that we use. Yeah, so... <clears throat> and, and the other, one of my concerns in respect to cancer, um, my only living uncle on my father's side, living in, in, in England, um, as I mentioned, on top of the show that he shared with me that the doctor shared with him that prostate cancer runs in our family. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that I have to be cognizant about. And, 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 yes, and, and all of us. Yeah. As men. It's, yeah. a, it's a men pro men thing. Yeah. Oh, we thank God. Thank God for measure of health and we hope from this we will be encouraged to un and understand that God has given us <clears throat> God wish for us. That that's his wish, that's his that's his plan really for us is to prosper in health, be in yes. good health. So yes. the last thing I want to talk about is suicide among young people. What is your experience with that? Because, you know, we know about what they're being pressured into. Um, the curriculum <laughs> right now from kindergarten is that you know, they can marry anybody when they grow, means any sex and all that. What is your uh, experience in your field 
regarding... You know, you know um, while, while some of the details I cannot get to, I cannot speak to publicly because uh, some of the people that I'm dealing with because of pastoral and confidential, yes. uh, I yes. cannot disclose it in, in detail. But, but, but I do come across both children and adults that attempted suicide and were not successful. I know of some of them that are successful in doing so. Yeah. And so I see, I see those who survive it and I see those who, 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 who is now dead because of it. Yeah. And, 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 um, but you know, because of uh, the, the family that are still going through emotional distress, uh, without their permission, I cannot really talk detail to all the, 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 some of those individuals, yes, we understand. But, but what I would say publicly, uh, generally, uh, Elder, is this. Uh, as you were mentioned, even the identity crisis among the, 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 mm. the, the, the children. To me, frankly, I believe for one to introduce um, so those type of relationship to a child at a tender age, I believe it is child abuse. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, in this nation, we talk a lot about <laughs> child abuse, and, and but that is child abuse uh -huh. because it is, it is, it goes against the very existing, the very existence of the very child. Uh, for example, no children in this world, or no child in this world, come from a homosexual relationship. Uh, mm. It has to be a male and a female that bring forth a, 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 a child, mm. our children, or all of us. Yes. And so now to subject a child to learn at a tender age something against their very existence. And to me, that is a great definition of child abuse. Nice. And I think the, the, the nation, our, our state, our community uh, need to be charged uh, for child abuse yeah. to interject the child for such a lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, of course it's not politically convenient, but I also believe that this is some of the issue that caused in the suicide as well. Yeah. Because children are not guided by the word of God to appreciate their identity. To appreciate how God, uh, for example, the Bible says we are wonderfully made and we are created in the image of God. And so a child needs to be taught that that child is precious in the sight of God. And so a part of help to build the confidence of that child, to let the child know that if you're a male, if you're created a male, you're created in the image of God. And if you're created a female, you're created in the image of God. And to help that child to learn from a tender age, uh, to learn self-worth, to appreciate who he or she is in the way God created him or her, is healthy and will prevent a lot of emotional distress that when they grow up, they grow up, they have to deal with some of the emotional distress that sometimes lead to suicide. And, and again, I'm speaking as a theologian. I am not going to try to go into the field of psychiatrists, of a psychiatrist or a psychologist. I'm speak, my, 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 my specialty is, spirit, is spiritualism, is to connect to God. And I'm saying to those out there, um, I strongly believe upon evidence of scripture uh, to teach a child uh, to accept something that they're not should be deemed an outlaw as child abuse. And I stand upon the word of God with that. Yes, 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 I agree with you. I agree with you because the type of pressure and right now they are exerting that on parents, calling parents of groups that put the pressure on children and parents and no doubt that type of pressure on and you. And if I may, if I may not other, and this mm -hmm. is where, this is where the church has a moral obligation. Yes. And I think sometimes we fail this moral obligation because we become, we become complicit by being silent. Silent, quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our silence causes us to be complicit. 
and, and, and the church needs to be clear on this. You know, um, yes, we recognize that God loved all of us with an everlasting love. But also equally understand that God has a standard for all of us. A standard for all of us. And as a church, uh, as a minister of the gospel, I take no apology with saying that uh, teaching a child in that manner is, 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 is clearly uh, an abuse to a child and, 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 and the government needs to be, uh, be charged or anyone of a child of a child abuse to be able to introduce that lifestyle to a child at that tender age. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Pastor Barnaby. You have delivered, and as usual, as a man of God, you have shown a clear connection with Christ, the center, it is centered in Christ and everything, every remedy leads to Him. Mm -hmm. uh, mental health, suicide, all the things that people are being pressured into in this world today and the power that is behind them, the satanic moves, uh, defiance in the face of God. And I'm glad that we know that Christ is the center and the love of Christ is not that you do the things that will hurt you or hurt anybody. You know, the love of Christ is to instruct us, is to give us the blueprint mm -hmm. how to keep our life healthy. And it is not void of our spirituality. Thank you very much. Thank your wife for allowing you <laughs> to come. And so I thank you and your children. Yeah. God bless you. Uh, God bless your ministry. And we know that we all are in this together. And as iron sharpeneth iron, people sharpen people. Praise God for Amen. that. Yes. It, is, it is my privilege and my honor. Let's say a word of prayer before we go, please. Okay. Yes. Well, my queen here, I have a vote of thanks, and then we pray and close. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it has been a distinct pleasure to have our esteemed pastor give us this um, presentation on the mission, our needs and wants, and how God wants us to prosper and be in good health. We have been feasting on feasting on the the presentation of needs, needs to be in good health, needs for money need to be mentally fit, need to be intellectually fit, to be whole socially, and to be spiritually filled. And these are all wrapped up in Christ himself, yes. who is our source. Yes. Because apart from Christ, we are nothing. And Thank so these were ably delivered and we, we can always ruminate huh. on what Pastor just said for the rest of our lives because it is just a balanced presentation. Beloved, I pray that you, with all respect, you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. And so we want to give you uh, kudos mm. <laughs> for what you have presented today. And may God continue to bless you and your ministry as we were ably satisfied. Yes, and, uh, Thank you. Please again convey our condolences to the bereaved families. Yes. 
get that. And uh, yes, as you deal with your personal uh, family, mm -hmm. again we are thankful to God that He's able. God bless you. So we'll pray. Our oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the topics of health. And thank you for your blueprint that you have given us mm -hmm. to know how to keep our health balanced. And of course, you have made us social being, spiritual being, intellectual, mental being, and all of those cause us to be balanced. And we we know in order to be balanced, we have to address all of those needs, all of the, because those are the ingredients that make us up. We need to be spiritually, mentally, intellectually, social balanced. Amen. And so we thank you for these pointers this evening. We now pray again for Pastor Barnaby and his wife. Pray that they will continue to bless them, that they will continue mm -hmm. to explore your truth, your word. Never become complacent, never become satisfied. Mm. We know that the Bible tells us that Laodiceans have become satisfied with their situation. And so we pray that we all, within the hearing of my voice, will understand that we need to address those areas that was spoken of today. Amen. Bless them, bless their children, and bless so. him as you go and minister mm -hmm. to this and these families, the bereaved families, the mentally ill families, all the families that are constantly calling mm -hmm. for this type of help. We pray that you will strengthen them and continue to clear his mind, that he will get a good rest so that he can handle the work cut out in his ministry. And those online, thank you for them. Continue to bless them. Widen this program that that others may be benefited. Bless everyone that stopped by here and those who will stop by next time or as we share these with others. We pray that they will be also blessed like we are. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. That the words okay. of my now mouth and the meditation of my, of my heart be acceptable in thy, thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. It has been an honor. And God bless you and your ministry so long. It is a pleasure and you are very welcome. Yeah, Thank you again. God bless you. Okay, bye-bye. Thank <clears throat>